Um, so I will present an uh, integrative framework for our transcription model and motivic analysis of MACAM improvisation. Here I, I use, uh, uh, consider MACAM uh, both uh, Arabic MACAM, which is written with a Q, Q and uh, Turkish MACAM, uh, which is usually written with a key. Uh, so, considering uh, these different kind of macams, and al although I will explain later uh, that, so this uh, uh, related to the macam world, we also have mugam and so on. And so, a collaboration uh, that has been uh, currently funded by a, a French uh, research agency, and it's uh, between the University of Strasbourg, GERCAM, and so on. So it's a collaboration with different disciplines, ethnomusicology, field studies, uh, anthropology, um, music perception and cognition, and computational modeling. And so the topic on the, the field of study is uh, studying oral traditions in Mediterranean basin. basin. So, and there have been uh, especially uh, different uh, um, missions in different countries or, um, that have been uh, carried out in, currently in Tunisia. And in uh, Turkey, we had the great pleasure to be in Istanbul a few months ago. And we uh, thank all the, the Baris and the great musicians who were there to, for the interviews and the film and so on. So we collected mu uh, music playing and also a discussion with musicians. And so and then there, there have been also a field study in Morocco and so on. And so we consider both, as I said, Arabic Makam uh, and also Turkish Makam. And we start a collaboration also uh, with Fundai Sidzi, a PhD student at uh, Istanbul Technical University. And we also have connection for with Azerbaijan Mugam and so on. And so the idea is to have an interaction between the, the thinking about analysis, perception, cognition, psychological aspects uh, that we try to implement into a theoretical model, uh, and then the model can show if the predictions of the computer uh, works well and if we need to make improvements and so on. So in a way, it's a perception-tested uh, modeling, uh, and then this uh, model can be used as a software for uh, database analysis in the future. So I go very quickly. Uh, that yeah, we we previously this, uh, 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 thought about particular heuristics, starting from low-level acoustical feature discontinuities, segmentation, parallelism, repetition, and then uh, aspect related to modes. And then at the top level, more high level aspect of form, of style, related uh, more and more to on cultural knowledge. And currently, uh, this project is also related uh, to my own five-year project in Finland, where the, the objective is to build also uh, a kind of computational framework for music analysis that consider both low-level audio analysis, uh, getting low-level features, timbre, dynamics, and so on. And then the transcription, the aspect of transcription, repetition, pattern repetition. And the pattern can be used for metrical analysis, motivic analysis, harmonic. And then the, uh, the accumulation of cultural knowledge and also the impact of the higher level aspect to the lower level aspects. Um, and the, the idea also is, the, the motivation of that is that for when you want to understand any uh, individual aspect here, Actually, you need to understand all the interconnection. If you want to understand about tempo, you need to see uh, um, that you have also harmonic rhythm and so on. Uh, that's one motivation. I will go quickly. Uh, and so in that respect, uh, of course, the uh, impact of culture is uh, related also to this uh, um, aspect of understanding, for instance, for Maca music, um, the, the importance of the culture to, in the detection of um, modal aspect, for instance. And so in the, uh, to explain a little about uh, this mining switch, there are different uh, modules some related to basic signal processing modeling. Well, actually, the mining suite is a development of our previous, our current framework, uh, near Toolbox. So it's a kind of near Toolbox 2.0. So it's a MATLAB, uh, and we use a MATLAB environment. Uh, so we have signal processing purely, and then we have the auditory modeling that is a little uh, uh, separated from the signal processing. 
all what is related to symbolic processing, so when you have the score information, how to process score, and then all the aspect of finding repetition of patterns, uh, which is I will uh, detail a little after, we consider as a very central aspect of music analysis. And the aspect of concept mining, which what we propose to to generalize the idea of statistical uh, categorization and data mining categorization by uh, using some kind of connectionist model to infer knowledge or to infer knowledge in music. And then you, you have the module related to music that will use all these other modules. For instance, pitch we use, of, of course, auditory modeling. Rhythm we use in this respect, uh, we use pattern mining to detect the repetition and the tempo and so on. Mode is one example of concept, so we infer mode as a kind of con uh, in a conceptual framework, we detect concepts and so on. Uh, and then we propose to also separate the, the module related to all the cultural uh, knowledge, so for each type of music. Uh, like for uh, Arabic Makam, for Turkish Makam, you can have, you can define your own list of modes, and then we can study the influence of this knowledge in the inf inference of mode, for instance, and so on. Okay, and so and we one problem when we want to detect repetition of patterns is that you have the ornamentation which is very important in modern music in particular. So we try to build a model to understand this and for instance if you have a, a sequence like this you see we can consider it like the surface where you have a succession of notes but in the same time you can perceive a relation between notes that are not exactly uh, successive in the score uh, because for instance we, you can perceive some particular um, motif let's say we have the important motif A F E D and you could perceive this A F E D in this case although there is ornamentation so how are we able to detect this uh, motif despite the ornamentation that's what we try to model with this idea of syntagmatic network uh, based on the uh, syntactic aspect of uh, sorcerer and so on. Uh, and just to mention that there is another important aspect that is uh, research in uh, uh, studies uh, uh, in uh, study of cultural analysis is that there is a problem of segmentation. But then the problem of segmentation is that how do we really define what is a segmentation when you have, for instance, a segmentation between two successive notes? Where is exactly the segmentation? Uh, how, how will you represent it in the d data? Because it's not on that first note, it's not on the second, it's in between. But what does it mean? And actually, we propose to understand that in the context of this syntagmatic connection, because you can have, instead of a once segmentation f at any time, actually, you have the segmentation is more like um, a parameter that you associate to each possible interval that you consider. Maybe it's a little very difficult to explain that in just a few minutes. Uh, so it's just uh, instead of considering segmentation, we propose to consider uh, instead the idea of connection between nodes and how to define all the syntagmatic weights between the nodes. And uh, also then how to consider uh, uh, microtonality uh, and to, to generalize the uh, segmentation models to the problem of microtonality uh, is something that we are studying. Uh, so first, uh, this general framework, as I said, is uh, MATLAB, uh, based on MATLAB, uh, that uh, will be uh, open source uh, and like me toolbox with a discussion list and so on. Uh, and so on top of that, uh, we are preparing a, an additional model um, that will be a standard application for, especially for musicologists uh, and for uh, the public. Uh, so they could have a little app application uh, with an interface so they could perform analysis more uh, easily. Uh, and also free and with a website where we will collect uh, the different repertoire and so on. Uh, so maybe that my time is over, I guess. So if you have any question, thank you. Next so part. Which one? Uh, 
Um, I uh, try to make a first version available as soon as possible. Uh, I guess now I plan it for in, the, in a few few months uh, there will be a first version where there would be some of most of the modules, but rough. Yeah, yeah and that, but I uh, I could give you uh, also uh, a preliminary versions so that are not public that you could try for the segmentation and so on. So um, it's a method that uh, uh, I, have, I have developed, uh, that was the basis of my PhD thesis, and uh, the idea is that uh, to try to extend the limitation of uh, current uh, pattern mining method based on, for instance, on closed pattern mining, so trying to find repetition of pattern but avoid all the redundancy, the, com the explosion due to uh, redundancy, so how to have a compact description. but. My approach particular is to avoid uh, filtering too much and uh, actually avoid any statistical filtering that will erase the detail in the music uh, so and what, so it's like close pattern mining but adapted to multi dimensional aspect of music in a way, but considering also the problem of cyclic the successive repetition of patterns that is very characteristic to music. And so we have to consider this. Can I ask uh, Olivia one yeah. question? Is sure. this uh, mining suit that is working on currently on the syntagmatic continuity, uh, is it self-learning? Um, so self-learning in a the, more, the more you work with it, the more it gets what uh, you are trying to get out of. Recognizes more and more without actually you defining the, the suite. Uh, so the, the syntagmatic model is uh, under construction, so there are some aspects that are not completely done. But in in some way, it is not directly self-learning, but it infer knowledge then that you could accumulate, for instance, in the uh, in the uh, cult the the culture. Uh, module could uh, integrate all the knowledge inferred by this model and you could reuse the model that the, the knowledge that has been inferred as a guide to improve but maybe I should think more about that and we could discuss mm -hmm. yeah okay because uh, maybe another way of answering also is uh, That we we try to to uh, to um, associate some parameters on the, in the model, the the important parameters that uh, allow to change the behavior of the model, uh, to find some ideal parameters that will give good results. So you have to tune these parameters, and yeah, maybe that's what needs to be uh, adapting. Maybe it could be a, a, a like automatic adapting of these parameters. <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you.